Oddworld Inhabitants released a brand new trailer for Oddworld Soulstorm at the Game Awards 2020 last night, with a new release date for the game of Spring 2021. I woke up this morning and was like, well, Oddworld must have released something, so let's take a look. And after laying in bed for 10 more minutes, after realising I forgot to put my phone where I could reach it, I finally had a look, and went on the Oddworld website and saw Oddworld Soulstorm come in Spring 2021. And even though I'd expected it to get delayed to 2021, for some reason I was slightly disappointed by this. I'm well, not disappointed, but I don't know, underwhelmed? I think it was because I thought it might be early 2021, whereas spring, when spring? It's like April to June, right? Oh, okay, March to June. So that's a bit later than I was anticipating, but I think what disappointed me more is that it's not a release date, it's a release window. So even now, at this point, they still haven't given a release date. My disappointment was curtailed, however, after I saw that they have revealed the price of Oddworld Soulstorm, which is now available for pre-order on the Epic Games Store at £39.99, which is $52.89. Yeah. I was glad to see this, not because I'm a tight ass, but simply because the price for the PlayStation 5 version, as shown on the game website, £59.99, I just feel it was a bit too steep. And I thought maybe on other platforms it'd be cheaper, so I was glad to see that this theory was proved correct, and that at least the PC version will be 39 99 which, in my opinion, is a perfect price for it, completely reasonable, I'd say. Arguably, well, more like what I would have expected, I mean. Anyway, so the trailer looks pretty good, it showed a lot of gameplay clips, a bit more of the story, it showed the Baron, and uh, a lot of the clips hadn't been seen before. It showed a couple of clips that had been seen before, and yeah, it just, you know, looked pretty alright. The article on the Oddworld Inhabitants website about this, by the way, the website still says 2020 for Oddworld Soulstorm, why are they so slow at changing this? Look here, I changed it for them, just hire me Oddworld Inhabitants, I can do great work just like this for you. Anyway, the article says, Oddworld Soulstorm, the bigger, badder, bolder action adventure platforming sequel is coming spring 2021. You can pre-purchase the PC version right now at Epic Games Store. PlayStation pre-orders will be announced later. Oddworld Soulstorm is the second game in a quintology. We first met our reluctant hero Abe the Mudokan in Oddworld New and Tasty. Abe was born in a system that relegated his kind to the bottom of the food chain. He and others quietly slaved away at Rupture Farms, the world's biggest meat processing plant run by Malak the Glucken, part of the Magog cartel. That changed in an instant after he accidentally overhears a sinister plan to increase profits at Rupture Farms by turning Wudokans into food. Abe, like any of us, would after hearing we were going to come food, well, personally I wouldn't mind that to be fair, I'm pretty, I'm tired of not being edible, tries to quietly escape, but along the way something inside of him awakens. He just can't leave behind his fellow Wudokans. His actions create a spark that ignites a movement and maybe a revolution. Oddworld Soulstorm continues Abe's evolutionary story. You will learn that revolutions start small, but real and lasting change requires the power of many and the power of hope. And that opposing forces will use every means necessary, every means at their well-funded disposal from propaganda to brute force to beat back even the smallest uprising. Then it's got a letter from Lorne Lannin which says, Our team has been heads down working on Soulstorm to bring it to you as quickly as possible without sacrificing high quality. I am proud of them and the work they are creating. A spring 2021 release gives us flexibility, time and a little wiggle room to deliver Soulstorm to you. By that logic, they might as well have just given themselves even more flexibility and just said 2022. You know, it's amazing how even this far into development they still don't know a specific date, but you know, maybe that shows that they're uncertain about even that. Which is really interesting, maybe that shows that they're uncertain about even Spring 2021. Like, they clearly aren't 100%, or anywhere close to being sure about the game just yet, that they're not certain it won't be pushed back even further. You know, it's okay given a release window and whatever, but they've given so many release windows and every one has been pushed back, it seems almost pointless to give another one at this point. I read a comment yesterday, that's funny, Lorne hearing Shaman's voice in his head, Remember, they don't like delays. <laughs> But to be fair to them, considering they do keep on missing release windows, it's understandable that they don't want to give a definitive answer just yet. And they didn't exactly have a choice but to give something, considering Oddworld Soulstorm was due out this year, and this year is ending very soon, so they couldn't exactly not say anything. I guess if there was more time of the year left, they probably would have kept it as it was, and not given a re new release window, but obviously they simply couldn't just keep it at 2020 beyond 2020 itself. Lon continues, We will know an exact date in early 2021, and we will share it with you as soon as we are 100% certain. 
So hopefully, within the next couple of months, we'll have an actual release date for Oddworld Soulstorm. Oddworld Inhabitants also released a video message from Lorne Lannan and Crikey. My first reaction was he looks tired. Like it feels like he's just completely drained of energy. I probably shouldn't, but I start to consider he might have the ailment. But obviously, making a game like Oddworld Soulstorm, you know, he's got a ton of pressure on him. I mean, he already had that. But then with the economic and production setbacks he must have faced this year, oh, he must be completely stressed. He used to talk about how his hair turned grey while making Abe's Exodus. And then the other day he tweeted saying Soulstorm is hardest project of his life so imagine that i mean i'm sure he's fine i'm just saying he looks exhausted and he probably is as you would be in the video he basically just says you know they wanted to release oddworld soulstorm sooner the extra time is vital to make the game the best it can be to the level that they want i've uploaded the video and i'll put a link to it in the description as i couldn't find it anywhere else on youtube well, at the time i uploaded it anyway so hopefully we're in the end game now of the development and soon they'll release or in fact i just realized they literally did what I joked that they would do. They've said they're going to share an exact date in early 2021. So they released the release date for the release date. That's brilliant. I was only joking when I said they'd do that. And it will get pushed back, I bet. The release date of the release date will actually be released in spring 2021. Very surreal in some respects. But it, no, it is. So if everything goes according to plan, which who knows if it will, we will hopefully have a release date in early 2021. And then in spring 2021, we will finally get to play... Oddworld Soulstorm. Hello, follow me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 